can see how to process analog signal in your PLC program. OK, as an example for this video, we use the scaling, the analog signal input from the temperature sensor. As a range, we use input of current, where we have range from 4 milliampers to 20 milliampers. And how you can see in the table where we sh where is show analog value representation in current measuring range ranges from 0 to 20 milliampers and from 4 to 20 milliampers how you can see <coughs> in your PLC you have representation of the analog input signal in these decimal numbers from 0 to 27,648 where it's mean the minimal input when is minimal input 4 milliampers this is 0 in our PLC program and when is 20 milliampers this is 27,648 in our PLC program and there is also then overrange, overflow and underrange and underflow. When we have overrange, this means the this range of numbers in our program. And when it's overflow is this range. We have this range from the analog input card in your program in which is saved in the tag which is linked to the analog input of your analog input card and then you have under range in this range of numbers and underflow in this range of numbers okay we go to the program for the scaling of the analog input from the temperature sensor we use two blocks first block first block will be normalized and second will be scale okay you go to the instruction go to the conversion operations and drag and drop norm x function block and scale x function norm x function so normalize you can use for the normalize the value of the tag at the value input by mapping mapping it to the linear scale you can use the minimum and maximum parameters to define the limits of the value range that is applied to the scale and this result is output to the output out where is calculated and stored as the floating point number depending on the location of the value to be normalized within this value range for example <coughs> if the value to be normalized is equal to the minimum input this means the output has the value 0, 0.0 and if the value to be normalized is equal to the value at the input max output returns the value 1.0 so on the minimum input we insert the low limit of the value range for us is a zero and on the maximum input is the high limit of the value range for our is a seventy seven thousand <coughs> sorry twenty seven thousand six hundred forty eight and on the value input we insert the value which we want to normalize so for example it's analog input from our analog input cards and on 
on the output we insert the result of the normalization for example we use this tag sorry on our percent for example okay now now we have here the scale x function which we use to scale the value at the, va at the value input it's here by mapping it to a specific value range when the scale function is executed the floating point value at the value input is scaled to the value range that was uh, defined by the minimum and maximum value for us is a minimum value of the range of the temperature sensor which is zero and the maximum value will be for example 100 celsius degree okay here we insert 0, 0.0 okay is real and here for example 100.0 and the result of this scale x function is an integer or real value we use real value because we want to flow flo floating point value sorry and we insert here for example scaled temperature tag okay and on the input value we insert the value to be scaled for this we use this tag which is output of the norm x function okay okay so here on the input we have the analog signal from the temperature sensor <coughs> this one is the direct tag from the analog input card sorry here for example on the channel 2 <coughs> we had analog input signal where we use measuring time current current range for example in this example we have from 4 milliampers to 20 milliampers and for example weak smoothing cycle okay we go back to the project try to download our projects to the PLC for this we use PLC sim Okay, load, finish, and try to go online. Okay, and now how we can see? If we have the zero on the analog input, this mean the temperature is zero. If we have on the analog input, maximum range of the analog input, Then this mean the temperature is 100 Celsius degree. Okay, for this I create some screen to see how it worked. We try to change the analog input signal, and we will see if it's, if scaling works fine. Okay, here we go back and here we try to simulate the HMI okay sorry so how you can see if on the analog input is value 0 then this mean the temperature is zero 
Celsius degree. And for example, we use this value 12,652. In scaling, this mean is 45 Celsius degree and sum. How you can see this analog input is normalized into the range from 0.0, .0 to 1.0 and this value is then scaled to the range of the temperature sensor. So when we use the range of temperature sensor from 0 Celsius degree to 100 degree, this mean this analog value from the input which is from the transfer is 45 Celsius degree and here how you can see when the value is bigger then also the degree the temperature is bigger and when it's lower the temperature is also lower <coughs> This scaling you can use for any other types of the analog inputs. Also same for the voltage analog input when you use for example from 0 to 10 volts, from 0 to 20 milliampere if you have current analog input ATC. And little bit same you use this function blocks for the analog output okay so how we can see analog scaling of the analog input signal works fine and by this example you can see how to work with analog input signal in your PLC project and how you can see it's very easy and works fine. So okay, thank you for watching this video where you can see how to work with the analog signal input signals and how to scale this signal into some normal value for example in temperature sensors to the degree Celsius. So thank you for watching and goodbye.